G'day, it's me back again. I'm going to talk a little bit today about um, repairing tubes and tyres. Uh, so here I've got a front wheel out of a fairly modern push bike. It's a mountain bike and it's a tube type. So we're going to uh, r remove the tube. It's got a slow leak in it. So one of the things that you need to check before you take it off is check the valve. So the first thing to do is take the dust cap off. Now, you, the dust caps are very important as well because they act as a secondary uh, seal to prevent dirt and stuff entering your valve assembly. But also if it gets a very minor leak, the dust cap itself has got another little seal in it that can actually seal that little leak. So the, don't, don't use your wheels without using dust caps on them. All right, so a little trick I do to test valves is use a bit of the good old spit. Put a little bit on your finger and just put it on top of the valve and it forms a little bubble over the top of the valve. There we go. And if there's a leak there, that'll bubble up and then pop the bubble. So we can have a look there and you can see this one's pretty good. There's no leaks there. So our leak's something else. It's something to do with the tube. So we'll continue now. So we get a valve removing tool and we're going to take the valve out. So we just unscrew that valve, it's a right hand thread, so anti-clockwise takes it out. Just hold it a little bit firm because it's going to try and pop out when it gets to the end of its thread, which is about now. So just grab hold of it with your finger and remove the valve. Now these are called Schrader valves and there's a few other different types that you're going to come across. They come in longer ones like this one or there's shorter ones which are like this one. But they both do exactly the same thing, just got a different length in them. Now the tyre is deflated, so what we'll do now is we'll take the tyre off the rim, so I give it a bit of a squeeze, and make sure there's no air left in it, and the tyre is loose on the bead, so I just go around and make sure it's loose. And now we'll take the tyre off. And you're gonna get people tell you different things about how to take tyres off. Um, I was always taught that tyres were removed from the valve and work away from the valve and that avoided any damage to the valve or the tube where the valve is bonded to. So we'll grab a couple of tyre levers. When you use these tyre levers, it's got a little hook on the end so this can actually flip over and hold it on the spoke. So I'll show you how that works. So I'm gonna start here at the valve and I'm just gonna, without pinching the tube, hook my tyre lever underneath Okay, so when you put the tyre lever in, line it up with the spoke, as close to the valve as you can. Just make sure that the tyre lever's only got the tyre, flip it over the top, and just push the spoke uh, through that slot in the end of the valve, le the valve and that tyre lever, sorry, and that'll hold it in place where you're ready to work away with them, not having to worry about that one falling off. Now we'll go to the other side of the valve, because we want to make sure we're not putting any pressure on the valve with the tyre. So once again, line up a spoke the other side. So you just gently push the tyre down, put the tyre lever under, under the tyre bead, flip it over, and same deal. Just hook the spoke in that groove and that holds those two tyre levers there for you. The good thing about bike tyres is that because they're such a big diameter, they actually do come off the rims quite easily. And if you're strong in the hands, you can just about do it with your hands. But anyway, we'll show you how we'll do it with levers. So now I'm going to work away from the valve, so the next point's going to be here. And as you can see, it's going to stay there by itself now. So I'll come back to the other side, and I'll flip that over. And basically there's no weight on that at all now. So I can grab that with my hand, and just run my finger around the inside. All the way around. And I now have one side of the bead of the tyre out. We can take these tyre levers out now because we don't need them anymore. So the next step is to get the tube out before we can take the tyre off the rim. So to do that, I just push on the end of the tube until it comes out through the rim and then I just gently pull that tube out. Now, quite often the tube will be stuck to the tyre, which is quite normal, so you've just got to peel it out. One of the things you can do as well is take note, try not to turn the tyre on a rim, and when you take the tube out and you're looking for the hole, if you roughly leave it in position, you, the actual hole you find may actually give you a, a pinpoint place on the tyre where a stick or a piece of wire or something could still be in there. 
So it's just a little bit of a trick to sometimes find your puncher or what's caused your puncher in this case. So we just peel the tire tube out. And there we have it. So I've always sat that in the same place. So we'll just stick the valve back in. This is a tire inflator. It's a fairly large one used mostly for cars but you can they're still the same valve so just put a bit of air in the tube and sitting it where it normally would sit wherever the hole was in the tube you just usually just work your hand around and if it's got a hole you'll feel the air gushing out of the hole and then that can give you a fairly good idea on the tire where that actual problem might be. There still might be a bit of stick or wire or something still stuck in there. So I reckon I've got a hole here. So I reckon if, with a hole in the tube about here, I've got a hole or something in the tyre about here that's caused the problem.